Hello everyone, it's Larry. This is a video of how I made this LEGO model of Stepney the Bluebell Engine from Thomas and Friends. I was inspired to make Stepney by a mention of him online, and I thought it could be a very interesting and different build to tackle, as Stepney is not only a Thomas character, but a real-life locomotive too. And so, on a whim, I designed my first draft. Yep, no joke, this was my first attempt. This really is something I pretty much got right first time, I guess Stepney lends himself to this well. The only change I ended up making was adding this piece, upon discovering it exists in gold, to pseudo-represent these gold bits here, even if it's not extremely accurate. Plus, I also improved the structure of how the base was built. But that's it, this is the final model, amazingly. So I'll talk you through the design of it. Now the first thing I should probably address is my colour choice. I didn't want to choose a super bright yellow, or orange, as I think it would just be too bright for Stepney's subtle, deep mustard colour. Before making this, I saw Pierce Bricks' Stepney model, and I loved how accurate the colour seemed. I deduced it to be Lego Medium Nougat, though in retrospect I could be wrong about this. So that's why I went with this colour, knowing that even if it doesn't look completely right, adding dark green edges would make it feel accurate enough. With the cab, I was happy with using Technic holes to represent Stepney's large cab windows. However, the one wide brick with a hole does not exist in this colour, but I was lucky that the two wide brick did. Though, as a result of this, I had to make the cab the full width of Stepney, which isn't accurate as it's slightly narrower, but trying to make the whole cab slightly narrow would have been extremely difficult. Not to mention how would I build the roof. I used flat round tiles to represent his water caps, and I added one on top of a round brick to represent his large dome. I had to use three round plates instead of one large brick for the boiler, as the full brick does not exist in medium nougat, but this was an easy workaround. I didn't keep it going all the way to the end as I couldn't place any pieces on top of it, and it would have left an unsightly hole down here, so I went for the cheese slope compromise. Plus, doing it this way improved the structure. I debated between using a gold-coloured plate here, or just sticking on gold lining. But, since this piece does exist in gold, and it's a one-off thing, I figured it made sense to use it. And, I used three pieces to represent the tall funnel. Down here, whilst I've previously used pizza pieces to represent engine's wheel arches, Stepney's are notably small, plus I wanted to easily stick green stickers on top. So I figured it made more sense to use cheese slopes, even if it made it more triangular. My proudest technique with this build is the front part, which comes off as one big piece and attaches on below the boiler. Despite how it may look, it's surprisingly structurally sound. I'm happy with how the running board is so flat, and accurately unusually coloured, unlike most engines' black, white or grey running boards. And, of course, I'm extremely happy with the buffer beam. Even though Stepney does have a chain hook, I chose to use this piece to represent how wide and thin his buffer beams are. I found that these flat round pieces exist in metallic silver, and I considered making his iconic red lamp irons, which come off a circular plate. I remembered these pieces and thought they would be perfect for it, if only they existed in red. And they do! I repeated these at the back, and used a two wide slope to represent his box at the rear. I was also fortunate that these pieces exist in red, his side rods and ladders, for which I used a six long bar and a bracket piece. I couldn't line up the ladder to the door due to the wheel. And to anyone new to this channel, these wheels exist in hardly any colours, so generally I'm forced to use the black ones. And with that, the model was finished. I created instructions, which are available on my Rebrickable page, I drew his face, and I designed and printed off some stickers for his particularly complex livery. Then I ordered the pieces, and it was building time. Here he is without any stickers, which I'm still very happy with. And now for the stickers, which I live-streamed myself cutting and sticking right here on this YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to watch me live. As always, the face was simple enough, and the rest wasn't the most annoying sticker job, but it was certainly a challenge. I definitely made the right call by printing the letters and numbers here though, after the last disaster. An annoying problem that I didn't notice until it was too late, was that on one of my prints, the ink was really flaky and small parts of it would just come off, leaving specks of white. Where I could, I filled in these specks with a coloured pen. 
Unusually, I did the vinyl strips last, making the sides of his running board an even red strip. Then, he was done! All in all, I'm very happy with this model. Here he is with my Thomas model. And here he is with the rest of the Sodor fleet. I can also swap out his face to make him the real Stepney. Here he is on the tracks. Now, as I was designing this model, my friend Lead Paint Crisis suggested that we go to a very special place once I'd built it. Hello everyone, we're here at the real Bluebell Railway. Um, with not Stepney. Yeah, that's not Stepney, but <laughs> with, it's a real with, with terrier. With Fenchurch. With Fenchurch. Sadly, the real life Stepney wasn't running. But Fenchurch, a very similar looking terrier engine, was. It was so cool seeing what was practically the real thing in action. And, of course, there was a very special shot I just had to get with it. The rest of the Bluebell Railway was amazing, including its Steamworks Museum. Featuring a mural made of Lego! But then, through the doors of the steamworks, someone was lurking. A certain special someone with a visitor. For those unaware, the author of Thomas based the character Stepney on this exact locomotive. Well, the face was added later, of course. It goes without saying that doing this felt really cool. I even got to stand inside the actual Stepney! We explored more of the museum, featuring various Stepney-related memorabilia. In the sheds, there was also a standard Class 9F, which Murdoch was based on. We then went outside again, to see more engines in steam. There were some classic coaches, and even a locomotive that Diesel was based on. It had been quite a while since I'd experienced steam engines like this in the flesh, so this was a wonderful experience. Later that day, pulling into the station, was a certain locomotive that you might have heard of. Yeah, the Flying Scotsman just happened to be there that day. It was really cool to see in person, in steam as well. It's so easy to forget the true scale of these things. Hold on, hold on, I see you down there typing that. Ugh, go on then, I can't stop you. And before I left, I had to get one last shot with Fenchurch. I'd like to thank Lead Paint Crisis for coming and providing his incredible footage. Go check out his channel for more Thomas content. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe for more. Visit the Bluebell Railway. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to Lead Paint Crisis too, who helped film the video. <laughs> <laughs>